Okay, so far, what we've done this month is we are drinking one glass of water with a bit of lemon in it every single day. We're having a one minute breathing session once a day just to slow the mind down. You've chosen one bad habit that you want to focus on breaking and the identity that we're going to change behind that. And you've chosen one good habit that you want to build the identity to support growing that good habit. You've also worked out what type of person you need to become in order to create those good habits or break those bad habits. Now, in the previous video this week, we talked about habit loops. So just to recap, habit loops are your cue, your craving, your response, and your reward. So... Quickly, for example, <clears throat> you finish dinner. That's your cue. You start to crave something sweet. Your response is to eat something sweet. Your reward is that you've fulfilled that craving. Your mind has now made the connection between finishing dinner and eating something sweet. How do we break this? How do we work out what's going on here? The first thing I want you to do is I want you to note down all the behaviors that you go through every day. You hit the snooze button 10 times. You get up, you go to the shower. You drink coffee, then you drink another coffee on the way to work that's full cream and two sugars in it. You don't make it into your, you know, you you book a gym class in the morning then cancel it within half an hour. Whatever it is that you do quite regularly every single day. I I don't want you to judge yourself for these as you're writing them out. We're going to get to that. So just write out what you do without judgment. Now, once you've completed that, I want you to write a positive sign or a negative sign next to each of these actions or behaviors that you take. Positive sign for good, negative sign, obviously, for bad or negative behaviors. Now, I want you to look at the ones that you've considered as negative. So the negative ones might be you have three cups of coffee every day before you make it into work, or it might be hitting the snooze button 10 times, or it might be the first thing in the morning, what you do is you roll over and you start looking at your phone and answering emails instead of connecting in with yourself, with the day, with your partner, with your kids. Look at the ones that are negative. And then I want you to identify the cue behind it and the response that you do frequently. So if your bad habit is you do always eat chocolate at 3.30 or you eat something sweet and crappy at 3.30 at your desk, what is the cue behind that? Is it always that it's at 3.30 time and that's just naturally as soon as you see that on the clock now on your computer, you automatically want that? And then I need you to change your response. So if your response has been, I eat chocolate or I go get a muffin or I eat something crap, change that response to maybe it's just you get one coffee and that's it. You only get the coffee, you don't get the muffin. Or you go and take yourself outside and you walk. As soon as we, with a cue, it's still there, the 3.30. So we've got that, we've got to work around that. The craving is still there, you need to pick me up. But your response changes to something a lot more healthier. And yeah, it's going to suck for a little bit because you're so used to eating that chocolate. But as we start working that response in as a more consistent thing, you're going to end up making the connection in your mind that when 3.30 hits, you go for a walk. And what better way to manage your health, manage your well-being than a walk rather than a chocolate bar? So overall, as we said, choose one of your bad behaviors and look at the habit loop. I want you to really analyze it. Just the one. If you look at too many, you're going to get overwhelmed. But choose one bad behavior, one bad habit that you know you do every day. And I want you to really analyze what do you think the cue is that sets you off? And then what is your automatic response to that all the time? And change that. Work towards changing your response or getting rid of the cue altogether. Recognizing, sometimes just recognizing the cue is enough to say, oh, okay, that's silly. I'm not actually hungry at 3.30. Um, you know, it. I'm, I don't need that cue anymore. It's just a habit I've got into that 3.30 I eat chocolate. So the, that's the focus I want you to have for this week. Choose a bad habit and work out your habit loop and how you can break it. On the flip side, I want you to choose a good habit that you want to implement and work out a really strong cue for that. So say, for example, you want to start walking for 15, 20 minutes in the morning every morning before you go to work. Your cue might be the shoes next to your bed or the shoes right in front of your face next to your phone when you wake up. Make it a really obvious cue. Your craving 
it's going to come after a while, but the craving is that feeling that you get at the end of your walk, that feeling of, you know, I'm a lot more alert, I'm a lot more awake, I feel fresh and ready to go. The response obviously is going for the walk and then your reward is fulfilling that craving. So over time, you're going to create this incredible habit and this credible connection in your brain that when the alarm goes off and the shoes are next to the alarm, automatically you go for a walk. I hope that helps. Hit me up below, guys. Let me know how you're going. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really loving these little challenges. And they're just making such a great impact in my life and in a lot of other people's lives that I've talked to as well. They're only small little tweaks, but if we start to understand and recognize what our habits are, what our behaviors are, and how we need to and can change them, we can really make some seriously large improvements over time in our life.